One of the topics we went over at our Lunch and Learn event hosted by Rich Productions is streaming. Now, for some reason, a lot of newer artists are under the impression that they're going to make a lot of money from streaming or that they're going to get the most of their fan base from these streaming sites such as Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, Tidal, and a bunch of the other streaming platforms that are out there. But that's actually not the route that many artists should focus on when it comes to wanting to make the most money from your music. So I did a quick search of what the rates are, um, what the payout rates are from each major platform. And this is what I found. Napster is at number one. Tidal is at number two. Apple Music is at number three, followed by Google Play Music, Deezer, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora Premium, and YouTube being at the bottom of the list. Now, according to this chart, which was last updated on December 25th of 2018, these are the rates for 2019. According to this, you would need to have at least 77,000 streams on Napster to make the U.S. minimum monthly wage of $1,472. If you're a brand new artist starting out, there's no way you're going to be able to get those amount of streams, especially because you're newer, no one yet knows who you are, and you just don't have that kind of pull in the industry yet. As a newer artist, focus on having a direct sale of your singles or direct sales of your albums or direct ticket sales for any live shows and performances that you're going to be doing. Whereas with these streaming services, you're only getting paid a fraction of one penny per stream, when you encourage people to buy directly from you, buying your singles, buying your albums, buying tickets to your live shows where you can pocket the money as profit, you're going to see a bigger payout from the direct sale of your music versus these streaming platforms. It's nice that you have your music available on these platforms that everyone is used to listening to. This is where everyone is used to consuming their music from, but, I would encourage you to have people directly buy your music if you're looking for a bigger payout. If you're interested in learning more about how you can make money using your music, be on the lookout for more Lunch and Learn and educational events hosted by Rich Productions.